Okay, I have so many videos. I don't even know where to put these things. I don't even know when they're gonna air. I just keep kicking them out. I got this one here. This is a great side dish. It's easy, it's delicious. I think it's a great replacement for mashed potatoes. Anyway, it's roasted butternut squash. And I think you can replace butternut, butternut with other, uh, other types of squash, but I've only ever done this with butternut squash. And you can get this at any supermarket or any produce place. And it's really hot in the fall. So uh, get ready to see a really killer side dish. Come in close, let's get this thing started. As always, the recipe's down below. You got two large uh, butternut squashes. You want about six pounds worth. Got two sticks of unsalted butter, salt and pepper, balsamic vinaigrette, molasses, no way, rosemary, sage, and sugar. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna prep the butternut squash. Go ahead and uh, you're gonna peel this with a vegetable peeler on the outside. You're gonna carefully cut this into like one inch cubes. Okay, as you can see, I've already cubed up everything. I'm gonna put this off to the side. Make sure you wear gloves. I got this, this coating on my fingers I can't get off. It's just, you gotta scrub hard. So if you're gonna cut these up and you got kitchen gloves, use kitchen gloves to cut up the butternut squash so you don't get this coating all over your fingers. Okay, so we're going to put the butter in now. We're gonna melt both sticks of butter. We're gonna melt them till they start to foam, and then the butter starts to be browned. Normally we don't go that far in most recipes. This one we will. As you can see, the butter's already starting to foam and we haven't even melted it all yet. Okay, now you can see the foam is starting to dissipate. See it? It's starting to clear up now. And you'll see how the butter will start to get almost a brownish color. Okay, once the butter starts to brown like that, turn the flame off right away. And then I want you to add in all your ingredients. There's your sage, rosemary, sugar, balsamic, and molasses. Yeah, look at that. Look, the whole bowl's coated. Molasses is fun to play with. And then bring the flame on high. You wanna get this to a boil, and then you can just simmer it just for about one to two minutes. So first, get it all bubbly boily. All right, as you can see, it's starting to, to bubble up. Just go ahead and lower that down to a nice low, lower. A low simmer. And it's got little bubbles breaking. There we go. One to two minutes on that. So I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to use a big mixing pot. Okay. I'm going to pour all my butternut squash in there. Then I'm going to bring over my mixture right here and just pour it right over the whole thing. There we go. Then you're going to toss it all. Get it all coated, look at that. You're gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees. We're gonna put this out on. I don't think we're gonna fit it on one pan, so let's grab the whole thing. In. Okay, now this is probably the hardest part here. You're gonna to wanna to level this all the way out. And then you're gonna roast this, both these pans, in the oven at 400 degrees and you can do it for an hour and like about halfway through go in there and just kind of toss them around a little bit those look beautiful look at those you can almost eat them like that if you wanted to but we're going to take it one step further so there's a shot i'm going to put it in my trusty old uh old ninja in a minute you're gonna let this cool bring the other pan out let it cool so it's still warm enough that there's still liquid that's loose Okay, so just enough to where you can, oh, these are pretty close. We can put them in small batches into your Ninja Blender. Yay. So do me a favor, do that. Cool, blend it right now, whip it up, put it in a serving dish, 
and then bring it back to the table and let's take a look at it. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's all whipped. Look at it, it's beautiful. Um, I forgot to tell you, when you blend this, put a splash of milk in. It's in the recipe. Splash of milk every time you blend. You do small amounts at a time. Look how beautiful that is. A nice, good cling. It looks like uh, roasted uh, potatoes. And we're gonna try this out right now. But it's, it's absolutely beautiful, sitting on the side of a uh, plate of turkey. Okay, there you go. Some turkey and some of these amazing roasted winter squash. Let's give this a try. Remember, you can make this the night before. It stays great in the refrigerator, warm it up for the next day, whether it's Thanksgiving or not, it doesn't matter. Try this out, it was so easy to do. It takes a little bit of time, but it's all done in the oven. You can go do cleaning or whatever you want, come back, whip it up. Don't forget, a splash of milk when you're blending it just brings out all the creaminess. Oh, so delicious. Here we go. Mmm. First thing is, it's weird because it's the balsamic, boom, with the sweetness of the molasses and the rosemary and sage are just popping. It's such a great blend. You should really try this. This is a guaranteed winner for Thanksgiving. You guys take care. Show some love to a stranger this season, would you please? Let's feed each other. Bye-bye.